program. This was created by Richard Stephen and Donnie. The input file of the software is obtained from the SSR marked experiment with price. And this is the Excel file format of your data for the structure software. And the software does not support the Excel file format. So we have to convert it into plain text. For that, open the Excel data file and click the file option from the menu bar and select save as option and give the file link to be saved that should be a new file name and save the data type of the file type as text tab delimit and save the file now it will ask for confirmation give ok and give s now your plain data has been created open the file You can download the software from the website. Save it on the desktop 2.3.3. Open the software, select the file from the menu bar, and select the new project option. A pop up box will appear which will ask for the file name, the directory of the location of the file to be saved, and the data set. Give the file name as project or something else, then select the directory. Let it be in the desktop or any other folder. Then give the name of the data on the data file which you have saved. The data file should not be in the Excel file format. Then give next. Another pop up box will appear asking for the number of individuals, priority levels, the local number, and the missing values. After giving the data, then give next. We shall ask for the data given in the rows and the next, it will ask for the column data. And when you click next, it will ask for confirmation. If it is right, then give proceed. Your data set will be created. And the next step is to create the parameters. For that, select the parameter set from the menu bar and create new parameter. It will ask for the number of loci and the bonding period and the MOC number. Click OK. It will ask for the name of the parameter set, give the name and click OK. Now, your parameter set is created which will contain all the information. Now, you have to start the project. So, select the project from the menu bar and select Start Project option. By selecting the parameter set, we have to give the value of K. It will range from 1 to 10 and give OK. This will start running the project. And along with that, a pop-up box will appear, which will give the updates of the A pop-up box will appear, telling the job has been completed. The results are shown in the left side of the window, one by one, according to the key value you have given. You can view the result by using the histogram, bar, tree plot, and the triangular plot by selecting the one of the result from the window and selecting the format of the plot, uh, plots like FST and Alpha. Gplot option will show the Gplot diagram which will give the input as the tree file format which will show the closely related characters. Now the triangle plot then for the bar plot it will give each individual is represented by a single vertical line broken into k segments with lengths proportional to each of the k input clusters. The numbers correspond to the predefined operation. You can save this data by clicking the save option and give the file name and save. Then close the file. And save the project. And for getting the plain data set, you have to Go for the structure harvester. Google search for the structure harvester and open the harvester file. And the input of file of the structure harvester is the output data file which we have obtained from the structure software. And the input file should be in the zip format. For that, we have to select all this output which we have obtained and right click the option and select the winter option given there and add to archive. And it will give a pop-up box which will ask for that or zip file format and give the zip and give OK. This will give the 
output file in a zip format and you can use it for your harvester and now in the harvester select the choose file option and select the zip format of your result and click open and now select the harvest option given there which will give the output and we'll ask for ask us to wait a few minutes the output file will contain a graph and the plain text the graph will show the individual characters and some points will be deviated from the straight line which is the characters that are having the devi deviations and this will give the plain data set of that particular tupu and this is the data plain data text of the file which we have seen in the bar of three plots thus the structures of graphs can be used to identify distinct genetic population assessing individuals for population and identifying migrants and mixed individuals and find the population diversity